USA Radio News with Wendy King. Washington is getting ready for the nationally televised hearings with former special counsel Robert Mueller, and so is the White House. President Trump has spent the last several days discussing his appearance. I saw Mueller has testified to him again. How many times? Two, two and a half years. The president has been asking people about what to expect. He also said he thinks the Democrats will never let the investigation go. His Republican allies are assuring him it won't change a thing. I've heard all I need to hear from Mueller. In his only statement after being appointed special counsel, Mueller said he would not go beyond the report if he testified. The Justice Department's letter was in response to his request for guidance about limits on his upcoming testimony. This is USA Radio News. Owners of cannabis companies told a Senate committee they're forced by federal law to operate as cash-only businesses, making it difficult to pay taxes and creating safety concerns. But an opponent of marijuana legalization said changing banking laws would allow the industry to vastly expand marijuana sales at the expense of health concerns. The Senate Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs debated the challenges for cannabis firms to use the banking system. Although 46 states and the District of Columbia allow some form of cannabis sales in use, it's still illegal under federal law. Senators Cory Gardner of Colorado and Jeff Merkley of Oregon have proposed a bill to protect banks that service cannabis-related businesses in states where it is legal. It would provide the cannabis industry access to the banking system. Because of federal law, there are barriers for the cannabis industry to obtain any financial services. You're listening to USA Radio News. Attorney General William Barr says the U.S. remains vulnerable to growing cyber threats. USA's Chris Barnes has more from Washington. Speaking in New York City, he insisted that enhancing cybersecurity is a national imperative, though he says there must always be a balance between privacy rights and investigating crimes. The Fourth Amendment strikes a balance between the individual citizen's interest and the general public's interest in subjecting possible criminal activity to investigation. Barr saying law enforcement agencies need better tools to break the encryption codes of suspected criminal enterprises from international drug cartels to terrorist organizations. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. People who love airplanes are gathering in Wisconsin. USA's Tim Berg explains. The world's largest general aviation gathering got underway in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on Monday. The 67th Annual Experimental Aircraft Association's flying continues through Sunday. Retired Air Force Jerry Jive Kirby is taking part in some of the festivities and flyovers. He tells Fox News what you can expect. We're part of a demonstration team called Trojan Thunder. We're six ship. We do uh, aerobatics and passes and about 12 minutes of basically just looking at a piece of history yep. here. These airplanes were in yep. service from 49. These were eight. trainers. And, they were. And, and they also did some, uh, some counterinsurgency yeah. ops, Vietnam yep. uh, prominent airplane. For USA Radio News, I'm Tim Berg. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King.